I wish you would just remind me that I'm important to you. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Nahama, a certified life coach. Make sure you hit the subscribe button below to join the fam. Today's video, we're gonna be talking about the topic of single versus married friends, trying to interact in different life stages and how the friendship and the connection can change through different stages of life and giving a better understanding from both ends. As a single person, what do I wish my married friends knew about me, about my life, about our friendship and why or how I feel feel the way I do. I asked this question to you on my Instagram and you guys had so much feedback to say about how hard and hurtful it can be to be in the place where your really close friend gets married and you're kind of left behind and now you're struggling to maintain the relationship, maybe you're hurt from the way they're acting and things along those lines. Based on what you submitted and based on my personal experiences of my friends getting married and me feeling a lot of these things, I came up with just a list of a bunch of feelings or personal perspectives that someone single might feel when their friend gets married. This is in no way to say that every married friend acts like this or that everyone who's single feels like this. This is just generally speaking and seems to be the popular opinions of how people feel in this situation. The point of the video is if you're single, maybe you'll feel a little bit more validated after watching this knowing that you're not the only one that feels this way. And if you're married, maybe it will give you a little bit of insight into how some of your single friends may be feeling and that can help better the connection. Make sure you look out for the next video I'm gonna make on this topic, which is what I wish my single friends knew coming from a married person's perspective. Again, some general popular opinions of how they may be feeling once they get married and move on and a lot of their friends are still single. So for this video, what I wish my married friends knew, the first thing I wanna talk about is speaking as a single person, which is what I'm gonna do in this video, is even though I'm so happy for you that you're married and you're happy and you moved on, it can still be really painful for me for many different reasons. And I just want you to understand that. You getting married is a reminder to me that it didn't happen for me yet. Maybe you're moving away or you're just moving on to a different stage and making me feel left behind, whether that's physically or emotionally. Knowing our relationship will change somewhat and that it's the end of an era is sad, even though I'm happy that you're happy. Another feeling might be, even though I know that you're busier now and you have a lot of responsibilities that maybe I don't have right now, you have commitments and your life just got a little bit more full and demanding in certain ways. I also have a life and it doesn't feel good to always have to work around your schedule. So maybe we can both figure out what works for both of us with respect on both ends so that we can accommodate you but also not make me feel like my life is unimportant. Another thing might be, you probably don't feel comfortable talking to me about everything in your life going on right now. And I understand that, but just know that I'm here for you. Even if I can't fully relate, I wanna be here for you. I wanna hear about your life and not feel like you closed off emotionally just because I'm not in the same stage as you. At the same time, that can't be all we talk about. We can't just always be talking about your marriage, your husband, what he got you, the fights you may be going through because only talking about that would not be good either. So know that I'm here for you. I wanna have an open relationship with you and also have that sensitivity in mind. Another really popular feeling was I feel like you have a new best friend and although I understand it's really hard for me I wish you would just remind me that I'm important to you you have a new person in your life that became your everything and that's so special and so amazing but we've been through a lot together and sometimes I feel like that doesn't count anymore another one is it really doesn't feel good to be dropped. I know that you're super busy and I'm sure life is overwhelming. I just wanna remind you that a five minute phone call, a text saying I'm thinking of you would really mean a lot to me. This next one I think is especially relevant for older singles or for friendships that have gone through many, many years being on the same page, being in the same life stage, and then one person moves on, whether they get a new job, whether they get married, this really applies to so many things. These concepts apply to so many different kinds of friendships and interactions and relationships. But when I was single, I related to this one a lot. As I got older and me and my friends were still single, but then someone got married, it was like, it's really weird to think that our lives were on the same page for so long. For all these years, we were so in sync in everything that we were doing in our lives. And now things are different. 
and I miss you. I related to this one a lot when I was single because getting married at 27 meant that I had so many years to develop so many relationships where I spent so much time and energy investing in my friendships and my friends were my entire life. I traveled with them, I spent Shabbos with them. I felt like we were doing life together and when someone got married, it was like, I'm so happy for you. I just feel like it's so weird that our lives were so on the same page for so long and then all of a sudden it's like, wow, something really drastic happened that made it feel like suddenly we're not on the same page anymore and I, I just miss it. And the last feeling or thought that I wanna include in this video is I really wanna give you space, but I also really wanna keep our connection. Can we talk about it? I know it'll take some time to adapt, but I think our friendship is worth it. For anyone who's single and watching this, I hope that this was validating for you and also encouraging for you to go reach out to some of your married friends that you feel maybe you lost a little bit of your connection with and just have a conversation, talk openly about how you feel, how you wanna be respected, how you can better understand them and their new stage of life and put in that effort to better the connection and understand where the other person is coming from. If you're interested in one-on-one -on -one life coaching sessions, you'll find the email below for that.